Hey everybody, Boftis here, and welcome back to my Crusader Kings 2 series, Nestorius Did Nothing Wrong. I'm playing as a custom character who is an Astorian in the Duchy of Mesopotamia. Last episode, I reclaimed this county from the Duchy of Armenia, because it's technically mine, by de jure claim, so I took it. Um, someone in the comments, and I apologise, I've forgotten your name, pointed out that uh, this guy is actually Nestorian. I didn't realise that when I started my... when I started this, I looked for... I searched online for Nestorian characters and couldn't find this guy. Which is a surprise. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't realise. But whatever, I've made my choice now. That would have been quite cool to make my way along here and, and that, but whatever. Maybe a, maybe a future, future series. But anyway, yes, so... I took this land from this guy, but unfortunately he is a Myophysite. And he hates me because I had his kid killed. So... Yeah, so what I'm going to do is, because he's the wrong religion, and he hates me, I'm going to revoke his title, because that means that I can then choose elective monarchy, which I can do because I don't need to worry about crown, crown authority when I'm not a king. So, um, that is the plan. No vassal has negative opinion, opinion of you, that is the only thing that remains. Um, my only vassal that hates me is this guy. And if I go to revoke his title, which he'll say no, uh, it's minus 20. The other, the only, the other lowest vassal I have is minus is 27, so I'll still be above. So what I'll do before I begin this, march all my guys into his territory. Speed up a little bit. Oh, my council's council's all doing something something useful. Yep, they're training. They're fabricating claims on Taron. Are they? No, I'm fabricating a claim on that. I don't care about that. I'm going to move him to Odessa. Yes, so uh, once they're actually there... How many men does this guy? 1,000 odd. Mm, okay. Well, I'm going to revoke his title. And he is going to say no. There we go. So I should, therefore, he's no longer my vassal. I have to be at peace. Of course I do. I knew that. But whatever. Hopefully this shouldn't take too long. And, um, no vassal. These guys might dislike me after I, after I take over, but I can always bribe them. I have a lot of money. I didn't realise I was getting that much money. That's quite good. Uh, who are my allies? Just Bulgaria, isn't it? Yeah. No, that's not going to work. Uh, Bulgaria, South Slavic. Hmm. I'm not sure what's the, uh, Filiac? I want to find a character with this... Black, also South Slavic. Serbian, I'm guessing that's all. That's a South Slavic. That's Greek. Serbian, South Slavic. Okay, so I'm guessing it's all this sort of region. So, ah, oh, that's odd. The Bulgarian is not a, uh, um, what's it called? Altaic culture, considering Bulga, um, so they're Bulga. Okay, so obviously it's split at some point, so it changes from Altaic. Maybe that's a culture shift if you play from the Charlemagne start. And you play as the Bulgarians who are Tengri Pagans in that start. Eh, interesting. Maybe it does split. I've never played as them, so I, I'm not sure. But it obviously does change at some point. But whether that's just for the benefit of the start dates, I don't know. My wife is pregnant. That is great news, because I don't really need to worry about uh, Gavelkind once I've dealt... Once I've got the right uh, succession laws. Which will be fine. Um, so I've got two sons. They're both fairly standard at the moment. They're not any... no, They don't have any congenital traits that make one better or worse than the other. So I'll just see how, they, how they're raised. And he wants peace. Surrender. Uh, and he's imprisoned. And as he's a traitor, I can revoke it. And then, what am I looking like in terms of vassals? They all like me. So... I'll go for elective monarchy. Wonderful. I'm pretty sure I did just pick it in the That's elective. Yes, I did. Cool. So, um, I'm going to nominate that guy because he's slightly older, I suppose. I'm going to disband all these troops. And I'm going to demand religious conversion. He says no. I'm going to revoke his title because he's wrong with religion. Nope. Um, not without annoying people, so I'll give him Master of the Hunt. Now, do you want to convert? No. Nope. What about his friend? This guy. He likes me more. Do you remember this conversion? Nope. 
Hang on, is this, other, is this Bishop J uh, Zealous? No, he's not. Okay, so if I give him a gift. 20, 20 get old. Demand religious conversion. Yep. Nestorian faith. And the other guy. They're both, they're both Armenian. They're both my culture. So I'm happy with them to continue being barons. It doesn't really affect it that much. And they've converted as well. Wonderful. So I've consolidated my land. Now, which is good. Oh, hello. What's going on here? They're in a rebellion. Holy war. In a revolt war for Muhammad's claim on Edessa. Can I go to war with them for anything other than a holy war? Nope. No. I do not want to risk that. Because there's this big blob. It's not actually too much of a blob at the moment. The Caliph is sort of struggling. He's in his own revolt. Um, but he's winning it. And he has a lot more men than me. So I don't, I don't want him to suddenly just turn around and go, actually, you know what, I'm going to get involved. That could go badly. So the only safe way for now um, to expand is by... Fabricating claims, which is not the most entertaining and exciting way of doing it, but at the moment I'm just too weak. If I, a victory, a a single defeat in, in battle could cause the end of this series. Uh oh, what? There's unfaithful spouse and sister. I should punish her. I gain piety. Um, the issue is ignored. I gain piety. Why not? Hunting trait. Oh, war focus. Oh, someone's converted to an historian. That's good. I'm going to convert to uh, hunting because I don't need. Uh, hunting's a very good focus to have because it can get you the strong trait, which is obviously it's meant to be congenital, but you can get it through events. And I've had a daughter. Wonderful. Uh, Kaganush. Interesting choice of name. I'll go with it. Can I have an, um, another ambition? Become king of Armenia. Why not? There's no other ones I need. So, yes, I was scarred because I started with wounded to lower my. Uh, age when I started this. It was taking a risk because I could have obviously died from it, but I didn't. Um, I'm still gaining a lot of money. That's good. I think it's because I'm um, the ecumenical... It's not ecumenical. It's... Uh, it's what's it called? Patriarchs that um, answer directly to their liege. I think that's the case. Also Cephalus. That's the word. Couldn't think of it then. So... This guy is apparently in my court. He has a claim on Taron. Who are you? Oh! It's one of his sons. Or siblings. Where the hell did you appear from? Whatever. They can. He can rot in prison. I'm not going to marry them off. Uh, I don't need him to have a claim. And what is the... It is the... Cleat is the dodgy capital, I thought it was. Son was born to this guy, apparently. I don't know why I'm... I'm not following this guy. I don't I don't know why I care. Patriarch of the East, Makika, Mac Mac has been succeeded by this guy. Timotheus. Cool. Uh, what's our moral authority like now? 20. Ah, uh, that's not so good. We lost a holy war, apparently. When? Oh. This guy. And there we go. That's uh, that's the fate of most Nestorians at the moment. Luckily, I've managed to uh, survive long enough. Because, I mean, I'm in a good defense position. Mountains all around. A river there. It's all... It's I'm in a good spot, really. And this guy's suddenly appeared. I've lost some prestige. That's not as good as it could have been. But again, not the end of the world. So I have, an, I have good alliance with Bulgaria. Uh, Venice is around, which is always good to see. Ostlandat. Oh, of course. Uh, oh, shit. What? Where's, uh... Siblings? Oh! No, where's... I thought it was... I thought uh, Ostlandat was Harold. Harold Fairhair, yeah. Oh, he died very, very quick into the game. Interesting. Okay, so Ostland is on its way to becoming Norway. Ostland, oh, it also has this bit of land, because why not? Um, but he's still Samoyed Finnick. Uh, Suomenescu. So that's interesting. It's a long way away, so it doesn't really bother me at the moment. Oh, what is this? Armenian Liberation Revolt. Yes, please. Who's this against? Who are you? Oh, uh... Liberation... 
are the Emir of Odessa. That is unfortunate for you. My wife is pregnant. Ah, but it, no, if they win, then they form the kingdom. I could then... Yeah, they'd be the wrong religion. They'd be my Fazite. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, my guy is trying to convert people. He's my best spy, and I have this guy go over to Constantinople, and again, try and steal some technology. It all helps. Um, I could... This guy my friend. I'm pretty sure he is my friend. Yeah. Who am I trying to kill? No, I can stop that. I don't need to do that. Oh, I can educate my son now. So, what am I actually like? I'm a charismatic negotiator. I'm going to have him educated by... Um, by me, actually. For now. When he's close to, to his age of adulthood, I'll probably take him over. Or give him to someone who can give him a better trait. But, um... Oh, I've had another son who has the great pox. How? Oh my god. My wife is a lunatic, mnemonic, and has the great pox. Get the hell away from me. Request divorce. Why do you, why do you mean no? Um, I'm Colin Forrest. Why not? Yeah. Um, arrange a... a Divorce? Um, no. Okay, what if I give you money? 20 gold. Demand a request divorce. Cost me 100 piety, which I can afford, and will be granted. I will be treated as a. Oh, wait, shit, this is. Ah, no, it's the. She's my alliance. Um, do you have another alliance that could, that's going? I can maybe get an alliance with the Byzantines, perhaps. What about her? She's not married. Oh, I can marry her. Maybe. We'll see. I, I do need to get rid of my wife, to be honest. Because she's insane, mnemonic, and has the great pox. So she will give... She'll kill me. Oh, he's, he's said no. Um, outraged by succession law change? Why? It was all going to your son anyway. What if I just try and kill her? I'll try and kill her. She's the wrong religion and culture. I don't think it's going to be an issue. Um, okay, so that's that's going well. She should be dead pretty soon. And then I'll be free to... Oh, sorry. My headset's just fallen off now. Wonderful. It's back on. Almost couldn't hear this beautiful music. Hungary is blobbing, which it usually does. Um, King Armas, what happened to uh, Arpad? Yeah. That's interesting. Oh well. Um, right, so... What the hell? Oh, well, all of a sudden my wife knows that I'm trying to kill her. Which is not helpful, really, in the scheme of things. The Abbasid blob is actually blobbing, which is annoying. But they're not as blobby as they could have been. The Safarids are still going strong. They unfortunately did unify. And uh, unless there's a revolt, they're going to stay unified. Karen Satrapy is, is surviving. I'd be interested to see if they manage to live. Uh, Summoned Holy War. They're losing. And they're losing that one as well, so that's all not very good. They might not last very, long, very much longer at all. But it would, be, it would be good to let the smaller religions survive. Including myself, obviously. Oh! Has this guy uh, won his war? He has. Um, Alpha vassalization, false religion, weaker than I am, and base reluctance. You are a lot weaker than me. No, I am a lot weaker than you. You've got 9,000 odd men. Oh, my brother in law has challenged me to a duel. What is his personal combat skills? One. Mine is also one. Let's try it. The duel starts violently as your tactic is to strike at Prince Simeon of Bulgaria's guard. Repeatedly until it folds, your opponent, however, seems proficient in his skill with the blade and blocks your every attack with relative ease. You eventually grow more and more fatigued from your repeated attacks. This is the time when Prince Simeon of Bulgaria manages to fool you in fainting a high strike while pulling his blade down and landing it on your leg. I am wounded. Cool. 
been wounded before. I've survived it before. I might die. <laughs> uh, and in I'll engage her in theological debate. And she's been convinced. Of course she has. Because I'm great. Um, how's my son's stats going? Oh, he's become craven. That will not do. Uh, he did not become brave. That would have been great. How old's my other son? He's almost old enough to be educated. Actually, the... Uh, I think... Yeah, this year he'll be educating. I'll educate him as well. And someone else admires my ambition, which is great, because ambition is a, is a good thing to have. And someone else converted, which is great stuff. Um, I could build a castle holding, but I would then not have much money. I tend to like, um, and this is quite a common tactic or strategy to have in this game, is uh, a buffer of a thousand gold. Now, that might, that might seem a lot, but in terms of being able to hire mercs or bribe people or anything it's it's it gives you that extra sort of defense um it's a safety net essentially and yeah you might not need it but it's better to have it so i tend to try and keep around a about a thousand gold and i'll spend it if it gets more than that but usually it's just it's a safe amount of money to have because that means i can hire mercs and not only can i hire them i can actually pay them which is all good, because the last thing you want is to buy mercs and be unable to pay them. And this guy, now given him that, will he? I'll give him a gift, 20 gold, to demand conversion, wonderful. As many Nestorians as I can get is good. And it also means that he won't actually despise me because I'm a heretic. And I'm going to have him train troops. Why is my wife not dead yet? I mean, she hates me. But then again, she is insane and has the great pox. So she's... I, I don't. So she is assumedly... She's not got a lover. Huh. But I have a marriage tie with this guy. Because I've married a sister, I think? No. Just some guy in... That. Ah, that's interesting. Uh, my son is becoming an arrogant little braggart. Uh, he... I'm going to try that. What did he, what did he become? Which one was that? It was this guy, wasn't it? He became nothing. Okay, cool. Better nothing than something bad, I suppose. Now, um... Oh, Christ. Godericki has formed. Helgi. See, it's always... It's, it doesn't happen often, but it's nice when the Norse actually continue to be Norse in uh, Godericki. Fewer troops lay than that. Because uh, it's, it's, it's good to see. Normally, because Helgi starts off as Slavic, unless the AI converts him, he becomes he stays Slavic. Which is better in the long run for his uh, conversion, but it's a bit annoying. Oh, my, my courtier, Shahanshah, has given me a puppy. How have you got a puppy? I accept this gracious gift, and I'll call it Hunter. I'm sure the names have some sort of effect. Not sure, though. Uh, okay, another subject's converted. I don't really care about the subjects. I just want the land converted. Um, and this guy still owns a lot of men. But hopefully once he dies... Okay, my wife might be dead soon. Once he dies, he should lose those men. Hopefully. Okay. That didn't happen, which is good. Well, no. Nah. It's not good. It would have been better if she died. But I wasn't, I wasn't revealed. Because that would really sour my relationship. Attempted murder of a child. Okay, it's already soured. I gained prestige. Um, so my ally's probably not going to come and help me. If I need it. Because I am trying to kill his wife. His daughter. One of them. Um, and the Byzantine Empire is having a bit of a hard time. Stop converting to my physite. And she'd never... She'd... That's just as long as... Everyone's the right religion, it's fine. If everyone's happy, everyone will be fine. I'm gonna, dis I'm gonna go for more centralization. Because I might, might as well when I've got no vassals. And I become scarred. But I'm already scarred, so I'm no longer wounded, which is good. That means I'm less likely to die. Um, uh, become humble. Which is a good trait. It's, uh, oh, my wife's pregnant again. 
considering that she has the great pox and despises me because I'm trying to kill her, there's quite an interesting relationship. Uh, let lad have his fun. No. Uh, did he become kind? No, he's kept cruel. Oh, that's unfortunate. The co-conspirator is trying to kill my wife, which is good. The abbots are blobbing. It's scary. Oh dear. Well, my thing is bad. Why can I imprison him? No murderer. I've imprisoned him. Maybe because he was the one who started the plot? I don't know. Or to take the vows? Why not? And, uh, right, so I need to get married. Because my wife is dead. Now, who can I get an alliance with? King Carlman of East Francia, an attractive Carling. That could be good. Um, is there not a... Has the princess been married? She has been married. If I kill him, I'm not going to be able to kill him. Do you have any other daughters that I can marry? Nope, lots of princes though. That's annoying. Ah oh, well. I'll have to marry someone else. Well, I might as well marry a Carlin girl. Uh, I would gain a lot of prestige from it. But... I don't really... Yeah, I'm gonna... I'll marry a Carlin girl. Because I have an elective. I can choose an attractive son if I have one. If I get one. So that's fine. I'll train him personally. And with... Oh. Uh, yep. Okay, cool. And with that, I will end this episode. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time.